All right, so it's time to say goodbye towards season six because season seven is here. A new William and Osamosa are we dropping with the launch of season seven tonight after the maintenance. So the big question right now is, should you be summoning? I'll tell you a lot right now, probably not. I think this is another skip season. Bear in mind, we have got a pretty good season coming out next month with obviously Real and Osa as well. So that is going to be another banner worth summoning for. And to be honest with you lot, I recommend you stay for that one. But we also have the gateway off reunion open it up again. So you can get one of your characters is for free so we're gonna go over which one is the best of the two and once again is it even worth summoning for so let's just jump into it all right so we have william if i have myself here you can see this is the new character he is a blue defender and to be fair i will say you see this line here Per the thousand defense, he gets an increased damage that which is what Black Aster has in his skill page, and we see how much damage Black Aster can do. But yeah, it just it, it's not a damage skill, right? Now bear in mind we already have a blue William in the game, and uh, that is obviously this one. Now this one don't work too well on like the mono blue team, but as like a universal character, he's still very very good. I've been using it with Meridiana. I've seen people use it with Meridiana. It's still very very powerful with the fact that you get to have the fast speed in the game. You always get this off first, and then boom, level four defensive penetration with whatever the combo attack is on the partner it is a disgusting combo so you, so you only have a pretty good william and this one at least for the combo attack is just going to have a chance to stun a widow so it's uh i think a worse version of mars you can increase the chance actually it, it goes up from what 50 percent so it is a bit higher than obviously william uh so that could be obviously a bit useful if you want it but i would say right now it's probably a turning point for the game with the fact that we now focus a lot on like mono blue colors or like mono colors where you either use like four blues four greens four reds and we kind of saw that little bit of obviously you know mono red and black asla but you can still still a mix of like charlotte's and like even right now people are still using like a mary leona but i think with these characters because they solely buff up like the full blue the full green team and then even with new characters coming out next week or sorry like two weeks time zora and also new vanessa once again they want to be used on a full green team full blue team so at this point boys you really got to decide what team do you want to use do you want to use full blues Full greens, full red characters, and at that point, that is gonna decide who you want to use. So before even looking at the kit, if you are using mono blue, which we haven't got on a blue festival, well, we, we do, it's Julius, but he's not on the mono blue team. To be fair, I will say we're probably gonna get Valkyrie Armor Noel at the end of May on JP, and I do imagine she'll be a mono blue buffer just because she's blue. It's obvious they're going to make her blue, right? But uh, yeah, this character, very much like obviously Vanessa Swimsu, he does something similar where you are going to protect your highest attack character on your team, which means they cannot be selected, which is a lot easier to do than Vanessa Swimsuit. And the reason why Swimsuit Vanessa is quite good because you can do that. And uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good passive. But I say what makes this William good and work is the actual luck we have right now, who I don't have. So if you didn't guarantee luck, or get luck during uh, this current season, this one right here, then it's not really worth it. And even if you did get him, is it even worth it? I don't know. So as you can read right now, if all allies are blue, which once again, luck is blue, you're going to apply shock AOE. And we're not going to go over what this, this luck actually does here. You can see it gets like buffs when they are obviously taking uh, continuous damage, you know, sh shock or poison basically. So it's... um. Yeah, you really want to have, you know, luck maxed out. And you really want to get this guy maxed out too. Because obviously, you can see right now, the William does roll around... The William does roll around, obviously, shock and also, you know, car attacks, which is what you obviously want to use with, obviously, uh, this luck as well. You want to have this Clover Academy Charlotte also maxed out as well, who hasn't had a rerun yet, but very likely she'll be releasing, I'd imagine, during this season. Uh, very similar to how we had this Burning Banner right up, where we're able to get for Gordion when the guy became relevant because of, obviously, Meridiana. I imagine the same thing is going to happen where now that Charlotte is a bit more relevant with the Mono Blue team, you can now get her. She's probably going to rerun later this season. But also bear in mind that we are going to be getting Zora, who is going to be another Mono Blue, not buffer. He's just going to be good on the Mono Blue team. So, you know, he's going to essentially just buff up Mono Blue in just proxy, basically, of that being him blue. And then next season, once again, we're going to be getting another blue character, that being a well, who, once again, is probably going to be used on the Mono Blue team. Doesn't necessarily buff it up, but once again, we're going down that road of just having Mono Blues just being all in one team. So, yeah, with that being said, if you like the Mono Blue team and you want to go towards that, then, of course, William is going to be the person you want to go towards because, like I said, he's only going to be really used on that team. You don't really care about anything else. But the one character I feel like people are going to go for the most because I think she's 
I guess a bit better is going to be the Green Mosa. Who, bear in mind, we already have a Green Mosa in a game, and she's very similar in the way like she revives, right? She resurrects the same thing how the other Green Mosa does it. Who I currently don't have, so for me, this is a no brainer. If you miss the Clover Academy season one Mimosa, then this one's uses it. You have to pick up, right? But do you have to do pro? If you look right here, Every two turns or every turn, you're going to grow on an SP buff, which actually is pretty nice. Bear in mind, you're going to be using the Charlotte, who's also buffing up SP. So you um, definitely want to get that towards SP plus two. At five star, she does get the passive where she does die. You're going to grind your own max HP as a healing, which is actually pretty good. But I don't think needed. I mean, you want it if you're using her, but like, I guess you can just get, you can go without it. First skill, just going to heal with standard stuff here. Second skill, let's see what this one does. So, has a chance to re actually remove the HP recovery reduction stats from ally. Bear in mind, it's mono green. That's what Witch Queen does. So you're removing that, essentially. Also, you're going to full heal an ally. You're also going to dispel any damage or a time effect, which can be good. Kind of a counter towards mono red. Because, once again, you're removing that bleed, that poison, that burn. Uh, also, with Mary Leona as well. And you're also given, if you have the skill page, you're going to give them the defensive penetration level 3, which is also what uh, I believe Charlotte does too. So, uh, that's a pretty good skill. And once again, you can kind of use that without it being on the mono green team, which is why I think this character is a bit better. This one, I think, is pretty good and situational. You're going to resurrect the character, but also have a chance. Not have a chance. You can literally just select the character to remove the status ailment, which is normal when your character stuns. So, you have a chance to remove it. But the mono green team already has to go a lot of ways to not be stunned. But I know there are some times when Mary Leona still gets stunned and uh, that can be helpful so uh yeah once again the unique passive if all allies are green at the start of battle grants invulnerability to the ally with a high attack for one turn immune to damage so yeah once again just wanted you want to use most of like a mono green team i feel like she's a bit more usable a little bit more than the actual William, but more usable on other teams without just being full mono green. But that's obviously where you want to go towards her. So, uh, yeah, boys, that is it. Like I said, that is the banner going to be coming. Should you summon? I probably wouldn't recommend it. I'd actually rather save. And kind of what I'm actually doing, actually, is uh, going towards the new character coming out this season. Like I said, it's going to be Zora, who's the new face, new character. I'm not really going to be going down the mono blue route. I might because it's starting to interest me a little bit. Hopefully, with obviously Valkyrie Arm in the world being the mono blue buffer. I might want to, but it's Zora. It's a cool character. Even though I'm probably not going to use him as much, just getting him might be obviously worthwhile. Bear in mind, he is a filler character, so he will go into the general SSR pool where you can pull him in like future banners. So you can always like kind of skip him and, you know, not worry about missing out. But Vanessa, since I obviously have maxed out my actual Mariona, I'm interested a little bit into the mono green team. She's a character that I'm going to go towards because as you can see, even though it's not a shitty summon for her right now, once again, full green team, you're going to get some buffs here towards Defender. Mary Leon is Defender. Once again, down here, you're going to buff up the stamina for Defenders. Once again, Mariona, it's just getting more turns. So yeah, for me, like I said, I'm just going to skip and save for that banner. Maybe we get some new stuff because we don't know what the leaks are stopping. So we don't know what's coming throughout the season. Maybe we do get a rerun of certain banners. Maybe season three or season four. So you might want to save for that too. So uh, yeah, I'd say right now, just hold out. I'd say just get that free Mosa. Get that free William if you want it. And hold out and see what comes out. And come back because we're going to keep you guys updated. So boy, thank you for watching today's video. Let me know if you're going to summon. Once again, I might do a few summons just to try and get one. One and just guarantee the other one through the gateway of reunion. So if I get Mosa, I'll just pick up the actual uh, William. I didn't talk about it too much, but to quickly run through it here, this is the passive for the skill page, as you can see. William is going to heal based on his defense, which is good if you max it out. Once again, I don't think you're going to be using him too much, though. With Mosa, is actually pretty good. So I'm, once again, I'm going to be planning to pick up Mosa through the gateway of reunion and then pick it up a skill page through the battle pass. 60 times the chance to grant a actual magic attack increase upon using a skill. Uh, bear in mind, I believe it is 60% chance per character, or it may just go towards once and may not go towards Mary Leona. It doesn't prioritize the highest attack character on the team. But bear in mind, you're also going to get the defense penetration buff on obviously this too. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's a no brainer. Mimosa, and also get a skill page through the battle pass, and uh, maybe pull a few copies of it if I do decide to summon some boys. Uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching. Good luck if you plan to summon, but we'll see if I decide to summon or not. Maybe I will. But yeah, peace.